We are about to start tax season. But the problem is, tax season isn't starting as soon as you expected this year. And before I get started, make sure you guys like and comment below on this video and make sure to subscribe to this so you guys do get notified as it really helps my channel. I try to put a ton of free content out there for you, so keep me motivated and subscribe to the channel. The IRS had a huge announcement this week. They delayed the start of tax season. So many people are like, woo, I don't have to pay my taxes for a while. But for the vast majority of people that want their refunds or want to file their taxes to show more income to buy a house, they are super disappointed at this news. So you cannot file your taxes, the IRS said, until February 12th. And then if you file them by February 12th, for them to process them, you need to e-file them. And if you want a refund, you need to make sure that you list your direct deposit information on your e-filing form. So if you want to mail your taxes, fine. You can do your taxes and you can mail them but the IRS isn't gonna be opening that envelope. Why? Well, because the IRS is still processing, wait for this, seven million tax returns from 2019. Why so much? Well, if you guys recall, the PPP money and all those stimulus checks, the government had to pull that help from somewhere. They pulled it from the IRS. So not only is the IRS's budget got cut by 10%, but their workforce in full capacity was 20% less right now than it was just 10 years ago. So think about it. You got more people living here in America, more people filing tax returns, and you got 20 less people work, 20% less people working on them. So it is going to take them some time. So you say, you know what? No big deal. I'll e-file my taxes. I'll do that, and I'll do that on February 12th. Well, the great news is you can do that, but the bad news is about 40 forms that are contained within the IRS, you can't e-file. So you gotta mail them. You wanna make sure you talk to your CPA, and for a lot of self-employed people, some of those forms, they are applicable to you. So that doesn't mean you necessarily get to e-file them, you gotta mail them. Now, the other thing that's really important to know is they won't even start processing refunds for the e-filed tax returns till late March. So if you're one of those people that would file your taxes at the end of January, and you get your refund a week, or even a couple days later, well, unfortunately, it's not gonna happen this year. Good luck, you're not gonna get it to probably the end of March. Now, what's very, very important to know, if you are one of those people who are looking at buying a house or refinancing a house and you needed to file your tax returns, it's very important to remember, you have to e-file them, show proof of e-filing, and any applicable monies that you owed to the IRS to use those tax returns, you need to pay it. So if you are one of those people that are looking at buying or even refinancing and you need to set 2020 income from your business to qualify, make sure to remember those items. And if you got comments or questions about it, just drop it below and I'll get right back to you guys.